Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day during lockdown. I haven't made a video in a few months, but I thought I would try to make something useful today. I've looked around YouTube for a tutorial that teaches what I'm about to show you, and I couldn't find any, so I hope this will be beneficial to someone. As you know by the title, we're going to be making semi-realistic textured clothing. There are multiple ways to do this, but this is my method. First of all, I'm expecting that you have a at least a basic understanding of Paint.net and how creating Roblox clothing works. You're at least a beginner, a semi-beginner designer, hopefully. But even if you're just starting out and this is the first tutorial you're watching, you'll survive. First of all, you want to get you're going to want to get Paint.net and you're also going to want to get some plugins that I will be using and I'll link the plugins in the description. It's fairly easy to download and install them so I won't show you that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to any clothing website and get a picture like this. Um, I have taken this picture from a dress, just a plain dress with no crazy patterns on it. That way we can put patterns on later, which I will show you in this tutorial. Um, as you can see, I have a little, I have some uh, wrinkles right here. That would be the bottom of the dress, and then here's just the flat part. So you don't need, uh, you don't need the foldings, the... <laughs> I don't know what they're called, wrinkles, whatever. You don't need that. Just get whatever cloth you have and just select a square, copy it, make a new layer here on your template, paste it in there, and usually I start by putting it on the torso. And you don't have to do this, but I always do. I take half of it off because, as you can see, my template is all split into halves. I have, like, this darker skin tone. I have this lighter skin tone. And that's to make sure that my designs are all symmetrical and look good on both, you know, white and black people. Um... So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape my cloth or my clothing into what kind of clothing I want it to be. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make a simple dress. Okay, so now that I have this half of my torso done, I'm going to select the half that I filled in. I'm going to scroll out so it copies and pastes nicely. I'm going to do that. And some people don't know what designers are doing when they do this with their clothing. I used to not know what the heck was going on when I was watching like speed designs. But what we're doing is when we've copied and pasted something, we take one end of it and we drag it to where we want it to go. So as you can see, I've kind of mirrored it ac across my light and dark portion of the template. So now you're just going to fill in the rest of your template according to what kind of clothing you want to make. Alright, now I have my template filled in. I haven't done anything crazy for the sake of the tutorial. So now, we have our nice, realistic looking piece of clothing, but it's kind of plain. So, we're going to make a pattern to put on the thing. We're going to make a new file, size it to be 128 by 128, and we're just going to draw whatever pattern you want on here. This tutorial I'm just gonna do a simple plaid 
pattern. If you are deciding to follow my tutorial exactly, then know that uh, my squares here are going to be 8 by 8. But otherwise, you can do whatever you want. Alright, now we have that part of our pattern. We're going to copy this. Just fill up the entire image with your pattern. Alright, now that our image is filled up with our pattern, we're going to press Ctrl A to select it all. Ctrl C to copy it. Go back over here create a new layer above the dress or whatever piece of clothing you wanted to make and paste it on and you're just going to fill up the entire template with your pattern alright now that our entire template is filled with the pattern uh, besides the feet we're going to hide it with the little check mark we're going to select the layer with the dress. We're going to hover over here, just for reference, let's hide that. We're going to hover over a transparent part, hold shift and left click. Go back to our pattern layer, uh, show it and select it and press delete. So now the pattern is only on the dress. We can get that back if we want. Uh, so now what we're going to do is double click on the layer with the pattern. Uh, this blend mode here, we're going to change it to overlay and mess with nothing else. So now, since it looks a little dark, that's simply because our dress is dark gray. This is where the plugins come in. We're going to go up to adjustments and I use the black and white plus plugin for this simply because you can edit the brightness and contrast right from there. So all you really need to do, well I mean it really depends on what color your cloth was. Uh, you're going to want to make it white however you can. So just turn the brightness up enough to where you can still tell that it's textured, but not too much. So now, as you can see, you can s still tell there's some shading slash texturing there but our dress is now a flannel red so you can just merge the layer down and it'll be like that and I'll actually show you what it looks like with the texturing versus without so let me undo that so I've uh, selected here I've selected the layer with oh well this isn't white but whatever with the gray dress I'm gonna hide it and bring back this layer um let's delete that so it looks normal so this is what it looks like plain with just the color here is what it looks like with the texture it's not a huge difference but honestly that's just because oh my gosh no it's just because I made it too bright. I'll actually 
see if I turn the brightness down a lot you can tell the textures there so I'll just turn it down a little and now it's much more obvious if you want to make it more close to our original colors that we used for the pattern you can use uh, the original paint.net brightness slash contrast thing you know you can just make it brighter or with more contrast and that'll actually really bring out the texture as well as make it brighter uh, so yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I hope that this was easy to understand uh, if not I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have just comment it um yeah bye